Sabdiel Judah against Norberto Frias in the 139 pound open championship. Zabdiel Judah of the Fighting Judah family. Kathy Burke has a look. On a quiet street in the residential Midwood section of Brooklyn lives the Judah family. There are six brothers who range in age from nine to 19. They are making a name for themselves in amateur boxing with their father, Yoel, guiding them. Boxing may be the focal point of their lives, but other important things are not overlooked. Education is always emphasized. Then there are responsibilities around the house with everyone sharing in the cleanup chores. Working together, playing together, and training together helps make the Judas a close-knit family, and Yoel Judah makes sure everyone carries his share of the workload. We are a family that everybody helps each other, and everybody is just together, you know what I'm saying? If one person got a specific job to do or carry out, then you know, if, he, if he doesn't do it or leaves it, then everybody else, they get on him about that. You know what I mean? So he don't, it's not too many mistakes he's, you know, he's gonna make. Everybody got assignment. Everybody got something to do in the house, around the house, and he keeps them busy. Up until the time, it's time to go. It's not all work at the Judah house. There's fun time as well, with the boys involved in other sports besides boxing. All of them love basketball. We got a basketball court in the backyard, and we always out there playing, you know, games when we meet each other right there. And, uh, you know, we got a film that, that like uh, baseball. Basically, though, <laughs> they like boxing. And they do it very well. The championship trophies prove how the boys have learned their boxing lessons. They began in the kid gloves with their father handling the dual role of parent and trainer. It'd be hard for me to try to be a coach in the morning when we train or afternoon, and then at night try to be a father. You know, I think, I think it's kind of rough. I'd rather just sit back when he turned pro and be an advisor or something in that nature. All right, we'll get to the gym. What you give me? Six miles of shadow boxing. All right, go to the locker room, change up, come outside. Dad drives the family van, taking the boys to Gleason's gym for their training, giving them instructions and advice all the way as they make the 30-minute trip to the boxing club located near the Brooklyn Bridge. Now, all their attention is focused on the training sessions designed to improve the boxing skills of the younger boys and getting the older ones ready for their championship. They're prepared and confident. From a class of 1 to 10, I give him a good five because, first of all, he talks too much. And he's been telling people about, you know, do this to me, do that to me, do this. Personally, I don't really think so, you know. I mean, I know what I could do, and I saw what he could do. And personally, I think it's like it's two different levels. So I'm just, you know, I've been, I've been ignoring him for a while, you know, because he's been popping off. So I'm just going there and just, just do him. That's it. Just take him out. That's it. I'm not even worried about my opponent because I know I train hard, do my... I do what I have to do to, to um, succeed, and uh, I'm not even worried about him. If he, when he come in the ring, he'll know he, that I'm, not, I'm not no joke or nothing like that. And there is Zabdiel Judah, who is after his second Golden Gloves championship. We are set for the introduction to this next championship bout. Let's go back to Kevin Van Meter. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's next bout is the men's 139-pound open class. The referee is Lou Gliese. In the gold corner, Zabdel Judah of Judah Brothers Boxing Club. Judah is a high school student. He was last year's novice champion. Judah has also won the Metros, the Empires, and the Regionals. He enters tonight's contest with two decisions and one bye. In the blue corner, Norberto Frias of the New York City Police Athletic League. This 20-year-old hails from Queens. He won the gloves as a novice in 93 and made it to the semifinals last year. His record is one knockout, one decision, one bye. In the semifinals, Norberto Frias had a second round knockout after being knocked down. Touch gloves, pals. Touch gloves. Judge. Lou Fugazi is the referee. Norberto Frias in the blue. Zabdiel Judah in the gold. Stop. Box. Here we go. Frias coming in 
moving in quickly. And again, we had that southpaw problem again. Let's see who, who controls the way the way they want the other guy to move. And so far, it's Judah that's moving to his right. The way I think that a fighter should move, a southpaw should move in this fight. And I could be wrong if there's different theories, but that's the way I have, I have my guys playing. What are the other theories? The well, some, some, sometimes if you, you if you feel that you have a guy that's a much harder puncher, you can move the other way, and you, you bring yourself over to get nailed, but you can also nail the other guy. Good left hand by Frias got in. Frias is quick. Frias is also a little wild. Unlike our last southpaw, Judah does have that snapping jab, which I think bothers opponents when people aren't used to fighting southpaws and that jab is in their face the whole time. Zabdiel Judah has just turned 18. He was novice champion last year. And Judah is steering his opponent around. He, see him doing, doing it again. Great. see him sliding to his right as he punches takes himself right out of his opponent's punching range nice combination by judo and then you saw him step over so he, he didn't wait he didn't wait for the receipt Prius in the blue born in the Dominican Republic his father fought professionally in the Dominican Republic good combination by judo coming in started with the right hand to the body Break. Judah quick in and out, one, two in, and then pulls right out of it. Now, 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 he, now he's moving again to his right. He had, he had given that up for a while. Maybe he figures he can just out punch Prius. Scores for Zabdiel Judah. End of round one. Both came out much quicker this time. Yeah, but again, Judah is moving to his right. And you see, look oh, at that, yeah. look at that movie. Yeah. He takes himself right out of, out of his opponent's punching range and, and, and scoring punches at will. Feet got tied up there. He pops that jab. Boy, he really looks good. And but looked like Prius' head came up into the chin of Zabdiel Judah. That was the caution from referee Luther Daisy. Again, the Prius is basically a hooker. And by uh, Judah moving to his right. He's taking that hook away from uh, from Frias. Do me a favor. When the women get in the ring again, don't describe one of them as a hooker, okay? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I think Frias is having some problems figuring out Judah's style. Absolutely. Good work to the body by Judah. Yes, look at that, oh. look at that slide over to the right. Beautiful footwork. Great. If Michael Moore would have remembered that uh, when he was fighting George Foreman, he'd still be champion That's of the right. world. Stop! Uh, that's a low blow. Unintentional. Judah tipped down, wanted to come up with a left hand, and he caught Frias, and Frias in some pain. Wear the protective cup, but uh, One, that really caught two, him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Now, despite okay. the fact five. that it was a low blow, because 
Kreis went down, he was given the eight count. I'm leaving that one alone. The only fault I find with Judo at all, sometimes when he throws his combinations, he gets his feet. Look at that move again. He gets his feet a little too wide apart. It takes away some of his power. Well, he's got good angles on his punches. Well, that's it again. It's that movement. Great. Also, twice during this bout, I want you to be very careless when the referee says break. You know, they say protect yourself at all times. He's dropped his hands twice. Now, he didn't get nailed either time, but well, it could happen. But Gil and the amateurs, you're not allowed to hit on the break. Once the referee calls break, you can't you can't hit. But, but while he's laying on the on the floor. Oh, oh and down goes Reyes. Two. He, he may hurt. not get up. Let's see. Count is five. Six. Seven. Wow. Reyes. Little shaky. The round is over. What a finish to the round. Again, a reminder that in amateur boxing, a knockdown scores for one point. We might have disqualified him depending on what we felt. That's what that is. All right, you may have just heard the referee explaining the low blow. I was Lou Fugazi talking about the low blow. There's the knockdown. Let's take another look at it. See Judah fainting in front of him. Oh. Right hook, straight left hand, right on the button. That what was a perfect. Beauty. Beautiful combination. <laughs> you heard Luke Fugazi said, had they counted out Frias on the low blow, they might have disqualified Zabiel Judah. That's why when you get a low blow and you're knocked down, you get the eight count, and that's what could have happened. Zabiel Judah with a perfect combination. Seconds down. Roberto Frias looks like he's outclassed in this fight. Sorry, I'm going to say that Judah comes out firing now. He's hyped. And he is. All over. Great straight left hand. But he does does not have to do that. It's all adrenaline now. Yeah, I know. Oh, France with a good combination. Sometimes brains work a little better than adrenaline. Judah all over France. Big left hand. Another one. Standing eight count coming. One. Two. What a performance. By Zabiel Judah. Five, six, seven, eight. Box. Tried that same combination yeah. again to score the knockdown. Left hand has been beautiful for Judah. The great feints. And right now he knows he's in total control here. He can do whatever he wants. away from Prius, got caught that time on the inside. Any time now, Prius is going to say, I only have one minute to go, and we better let it all hang out. He caught Judah again with a left hook. Hey. Judah's had that right hand down, he's gotten a little careless. Uh, again, this is the time when the coaches get a little nervous. He can move, and he can dodge, and he can duck, uh, instead of making it a tough round. Blood coming from the nose of Norberto Frias. Frias went in again. Judah getting a little careless here and lackadaisical. And I think Frias may have caught his attention with that last punch that landed. A little tired, too, Judah. But now the end. By Frias. Frias showing a lot of heart coming back. Great. Good. And Judah has checked the clock about three times. He's tired, Sam. Getting nailed. 
Look at Norberto Frias. He has aroused the crowd with his comeback. Now he checks. And here he comes. But Frias is going to run out of time. But not out of heart. Courageous battle for Norberto Frias. And he throws punches after the bell out of frustration. But a very, very good performance by Samuel Judah. His dad right there, Yoel. And now the apologies from Roberto Frias and the acknowledgement to the opposite corner. That's some good looking talent there, Gil. Zabdiel Judah. Well, he, you, you can see his father's done a wonderful job uh, with this boy. He, he really knows how to fight, and uh, from what we saw in the picture, his father really knows how to run a family. I love the discipline in the family. It's great. The house is spick and span. Everybody cleans up. He's early in the round. You see Judah landing those wow. punches, but he didn't have to fight that kind of fight in the third round. Could have fought a tactical fight. That, that led to a standing Great, eight fellas. count. Boxer. Frias came Boxer. back. Nice combination. Nice, fellas. Very Left nice. hook, right hand. Beautiful bow. The voice of referee Luke Pagazi acknowledging nice the boxers. Here's the official announcement of the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the men's 139-pound open class is from the gold corner, Zabdel Judah. Zabdel Judah. Wide margin. One nice judge fight, had it 60 to 52. Nice One fight, judge son. had it as close Very as 59-58. Nice Nevertheless, it's a 5-0 win. Second Golden Gloves Championship for 18-year-old Zabdiel Judah. His brother will fight tomorrow night. Right now, <laughs> crowd doesn't appreciate the showboating, but he appreciates the championship. Now, how does this compare to you winning your kickboxing championship? Same feeling? Well, I won four fights here at the Garden. Uh, two boxing, two kickboxing, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great feeling when you win in the Garden. Nothing like winning in Madison Square Garden. You know, it's beautiful. Now, let me, let me just reach over you to go to the champ here. Champ, how do you feel? I feel great. I won my second um, go to go to, go to glove. 93 and 94. Yo, I mean, Damn. 94, 95. You know, yo, the kid was tough, but yo, I just had so much, I just had so much anger built up in me because, yo, and then before the fight, he was talking a lot of stuff, so, yo, yo, I just got him a lot of credit, yo, he, he came out there around, I got, I got, I got the winner, that's it. But yo, get tough fight up, but yo, I'm the winner. How long is that mean coach of yours going to give you off now? How much what? How much time is your mean coach oh, going to give? If we got the Golden Girls National coming up, so yo, take about a good two weeks off. Come back right in the gym, hard work again, win another championship. Okay, thanks. I know we're gonna see you again. <laughs> now back to Sam at ringside. There's a young man with a lot of energy, and he showed a lot of energy in the ring as he won a 5-0 decision over Norberto, Ch Norberto Frias to win the championship.